got? 7, All right, guys, welcome back. I'm going to try welcome to be back. a little bit quiet because my grandson is going to sleep. Um, so you won't hear anybody crying. All right, um, so, oh, I don't know if you can... First of all, there we go. he trolled me. <laughs> we were looking at the UPS and it said like 23 pounds, and we, he was looking at some like bigger, heavier subs. And I said, "Oh, so you went with something cheap?" Yeah, I was gonna buy the uh, and no ZV6, yeah. Sundown ZV6. And I was like, and he was like, "Oh, then this must be something else." He's like, "I thought that's what was out for delivery." And right I when like, I went to buy it, somebody else did. Is that what happened? It, it, yeah, yeah, it was a crazy deal. So as soon as that happened, I had got sent an offer for this. So it was one or the other because the other one was an offer and this one was an offer. So whichever one I got to like first, I went to go buy the Sundown. Somebody bought it. This one was on an offer. And so honestly, I, I think in our case, this is going to be better almost. So uh, this is not as much motor for motor for us, but we'll see. Uh, the D1 version. Um, slaps Neo 12, and I barely have seen any videos about these. So, yeah, there's only a few, it's and we're gonna do pounds. a few uh, full demo shorts, the whole nine yards, same as we always do. Um, so we go to the door, and we, and I, he opens the door. I said, um, Oh my God, UPS man, they usually come yeah. at like 11 o'clock in the morning. It was like four in the afternoon. They came. No, it was like six. At night, oh. it was late. I forgot what time. It was, was really late at night, and I was even I, me. I start getting worried. I'm like, right, <laughs> is it even gonna come today? Cause it, it came a day early. That was the thing. All right. So uh, they package it really good. I mean, they're a small business. Yeah, they package it custom, very good. Custom box. They got the box on the outside. They put a uh, the strap, the strap around it, and tape the strap. Mm. I normally write to the companies when I buy something and say, you know, I have a YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. This company, I just didn't. I'm going to write to them after I do the video. And we'll see what happens from there. Maybe they'll give me a deal on something else. Maybe they'll send me an amplifier or something. Who knows? Oh, nice. Uh, double boxed. Double boxed. Maybe it'll be triple boxed. How small is this thing? <laughs> it looks pretty big off from online. I'm, I'm high with it. Oh, I think it's probably the size of the box. Oh, yeah. Least. Oh, no, right there. Oh, oh. All right, so we got a oh a big sticker, too. Nice Slaps one. audio. That's a nice big sticker. Mm. And it looks like it's just, just decal. the decal. That and this right here. Nice. And that would probably all clear, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Or just the decal that goes on your car by itself. So I'll put that with the collection. We have a big collection over here. We could probably have giveaways for... Uh, hey, you know those Scar stickers? Or uh, Evil 6-5 boxes? Yeah. They got some. They got Scar ones in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to drop this on the floor. Oh. It got so light. Yeah, it's not... It's really light for... Uh, Wow. Easy. Really light for a yeah, so thousand watt speaker. And they, that means they don't need to like do too much packaging. So right off the bat, it's got a huge Is that surround a double clamp. Yeah, it looks like double clamp spider or double spider. Can you grab that? <laughs> Normally you can't do that with a 4,000 watt subwoofer. Mm. Um, huge, huge, huge oh dust cap. Oh my god. I don't know if I've ever <laughs> seen a dust cap that big. These um, things are rated for what, over 30 millimeters? They're like 34, yeah, 33 millimeters of, of X-Max. Um, wow. 
Well, it looks to be that's is that's that like four six gauge, gauge four gauge, four or five six gauge. Okay, that's. Guys, this magnet looks sick. It's a neo magnet. So yeah, neo magnet, uh, huge. You know what these are like? The four inch voice coil. I know that's insane. Huge four inch voice coil sitting there. Yo, this, these uh, they're like the HCY terminals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't even don't even get me started on why the HCYs have that. Um, <laughs> tinselites are wow, uh, double for each one. On par with Sundown. I mean, they're like eight millimeter tinsel leads. Uh, that's double beautiful. stitch surround. Uh, and I is mean, it, like I said, stiff? very. Oh yeah, very nice. That's a nice thick gasket. Uh, oh look. So pole vented, voice coil vented there. Many voice coil vents. Yeah, it's a beautiful big voice coil. coil vents too. I don't know if I've seen voice coil Dude, vents. Dude, a four vents inch that coil, four inch coil on this thing. This thing's gonna be a monster, monster. Um, it's a D1, so I think I'm gonna try it on and, the. Uh, but I bet you the, it'll come out to like 0.8 on the tar ramps. Uh, this wire it up will probably go down to like. 0. We'll be right back. I'm gonna get some wire and just wire it up real quick and uh, see what it meters at. All right, guys. So welcome back. All right. So I just wired it quick, just to test it out. I just want to see what it would do. Uh, I just put through on some wire to test it. Um, I mean, I suppose I could test each coil. I'll test it up since I already have this wired. I'll test this first and see what we got. Oh, I want to do another test too. I want to see what my uh, my impedance is, and maybe we can see what eight. Uh, Caleb's impedances. The body has like some sort of impedance of a, a huge range. Yeah, Point five. Point five, exactly. Wow. Now somebody, somebody told me. Oh, point four. Uh, when you talk in the room, that it would mess with your impedance. <laughs> Air rise. Just commented about that, and somebody else had told me that in an email before. And I called it air rise. Yeah, it was point four. <laughs> point four? Okay, so we dropped down to point four. All right, so I'm going to take these out. And we're going to we're gonna test each coil. One, point nine. So point nine. Try it without the leads now. Let's see what's in the I'm gonna try it without the leads on it. Air rise. Let's see. That's my grandson. He's not sleeping. There it is. Point nine. So each one's point nine. So that's why we got the point four. So it's probably like if we had a multimeter that went down, it would probably be like 4.45. Point, point four All right. Um. All right, guys. So here it is. Um, we are going to line this up against probably like, a, I don't know, I can pull out like my MTX 9500. I can pull out my T2. I can probably, that's a sundown... XV310 right next to it here. You see the two of them. Sundown XV3 right next to it. Uh, so this is the Slaps Audio Neo. Uh, I was going to buy the other Slaps Audio that they have, but I decided to go with the Neo. I might get the other one at some point. Um, so I just want to, oops, I just wanted to show you guys the, uh, inside here you guys can see the tinsel leads there's the tinsel leads they're all doubled up um they're actually uh, double 
so double eight millimeter on each side and double eight millimeter on each side um, there's the uh, the terminals I think they're four gauge I'm gonna grab a four gauge wire and just check it out so there's the uh, huge dust cap we were just talking about and that huge roll surround that we were talking about nice rubber gasket on the edge here uh, I believe this is uh, double spidered that's what it looks like here I've never seen a spider like that there's that huge four inch voice coil and let me see here I'm gonna drop it down so you guys can see the hole vent and the voice coil vents there and like I said it's very light for I mean look at that I can slide it right across if that was the X10 I wouldn't be able to slide that across like that I would have to like shimmy it because it's so heavy um, so I'm excited to get this in anyways this is going to be a very exciting speaker to try um, <laughs> Just that, that voice coil is, is stunning looking at it. Blow, it's mind blowing. The tinsel's mind blowing. Uh, let me grab that. That, uh, I'm gonna put this right here just so you guys can look at it for a moment. I'm gonna grab that wire. Wire will do. Right, here we go. Okay, uh, this wire has <laughs> this has a so that's eight gauge. So eight gauge slips right in. Um, trying to find a four gauge wire here. Not having any luck. Wire, eight gauge wire. Okay, this right here is. Uh, I think this is eight gauge too. Okay, so anyways, the eight gauge wire slipped right in. So I'm guessing it's probably like five, six gauge terminals right there. You can see they're really huge. All right, guys, so next time you see this, we're going to pop this into a box, and we're going to be testing it out for some power. So don't go anywhere, guys. Stay right in your seats. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Subs and pause. Slaps audio, guys. Uh, I don't know if you saw my short already. But I did put up a short. Uh, that was actually the first test I did on this thing. This is not broken in. Nothing. Uh, I expect great results in about a month. Uh, the sub is very tight when you push down on it. So, uh, I mean, without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, I'm going to swap up. I'm going to take a, a break in between. I'm going to do uh, some testing from... Uh, from Quake Powers, he sends me some uh, some music tracks, bass tracks, and uh, a couple of them test really good. So let's see here, what kind of results we get. All right, let's see where we are here. So you can see the sub runs at right around one ohm, and it's wired to half ohm. It's a D1 sub, and it runs fantastic on the Taramps HD 3000. I actually, the first time I, I powered it, powered it, I put it on my Stetsom, and the Stetsom is a 2 ohm amp. So I was a little nervous uh, testing it at first because I didn't know where the sub would run. You never know. Sometimes they run right at, you know, 
in that vicinity, and this actually drops to 0.7, so it does very well on impedance. Uh, a lot of times when you wire a, you know, like a D2 sub to one ohm, uh, that, that sub will run at two ohms and up from there, sometimes even higher. I have a four ohm sub that runs up to 20 ohms. So you never know where they're gonna run at. You never know where your rise is gonna be. That's one of the reasons I enjoy making these videos. I like seeing where their subs are gonna run at. And uh, this one is no exception. This is very well, so far, I'm gonna say it's very well built. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna do this test. I'm gonna drop it in my car. I'm gonna run it for about a month, see how it does. I'm gonna do my break-in process for probably an hour or so see how it does uh, I'll show you guys that during this video at some point and uh, I hope you guys enjoy so let's get into it a little bit more back here to the beginning sounds great too it's not just doing it it sounds great too my wife was just telling me yesterday there was dolls flying off her shelves in the other room two room a, a room over all right let's go up another shot here Back it up again. I'm sorry, we've been dealing with some kind of sickness or cold or something. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Woo! That's it. Look at that thing slapping slaps audio. Need some dyno mode here. thousand one hundred and sixty two watts that's incredible Let's reset the dyno look at that that's a bump wow it's been my camera see what we got here again 3045 watts all right so I'm gonna switch up songs I'll be right back guys don't go anywhere stay in your seats guys slaps audio subs and pause all right guys welcome back slaps audio subs and pause youtube.com brought to you today by me <laughs> Um, all right, so we're gonna do, uh, I don't know what this is. No, I don't want this. Back up. Mm. Oh, there we go. I don't, it, I got it on a music player and it's giving me some ads. All right, so this is Bass Siren by, uh, Quake Powers. Audio. Someday it will play. Stop 
stop seeing this ad. Okay. I'm trying to play this here. Try this one. Here we go. I got a song. Let's see what we're getting. He owns it, I know. Wow, that's 50 watts. And it's already, it sounds like it's pounding. Stuff shaking on my walls. A hundred watts. Wow. This would be good for like a break-in song. I mean, a break-in, yeah. Oh, that opened up a little bit there. Camera's moving, Camera's moving from the base. Rail to rail. Oh, there we go. Got some power coming out, anyways. Drop here. Again, this is Quake Powers. these songs loaded up on YouTube or not, but all right, let's try uh, one more. One more for a second. I just want to see what it, how far it goes. I'm gonna put the dyno on. This is curious. 5:36 at 0.9. Wow! Did that thing move. All right. Let's see how far we went up. 881, nice. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my break in video. This is it here. Yeah. Right, give it one second. Yeah, one second. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So this is 40 to 20 hertz. It goes in a sweep up and down. Now when you're doing this, you don't have to give it a lot of power, especially when you're starting off. Just start off nice and slow. Your, your goal here is to heat up the voice coil and heat up the glues. That's, that's what your goal is. Slowly, not rapidly, because you don't want to blow anything and you don't want to melt anything. So all you're trying to do is slowly heat up the voice coils and slowly heat up the glues just trying to get everything to expand to its natural nature. All right, and I'm gonna do this myself. See it 
drops to that 20 hertz for a second and goes right back up. I love watching the slaps audio. It looks so cool. actually see when it gets to where the subwoofer box is tuned, the, the sub's almost not moving. One, I just want to really. I would feel comfortable leaving it right here and just letting it run through its course, and that would be a good place for the sub to be breaking in at. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to give it a ton of power. All you're doing is trying to flex and move the parts evenly. That's that's a big part of it also. Moving the parts evenly. Alright guys, so uh, if you haven't already liked and uh, like the video, share the video. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel guys. I appreciate you watching. And uh, we're going to be having our fourth free subwoofer giveaway coming up. So stay tuned for that. Uh, on every video, I'm going to ask people uh, suggestions, what they think. So drop that comment down below what you think the next subwoofer should be, the next free giveaway. Uh, all considerations are being considered. So uh, as always, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. check the booklet or the the box to see if it came with the uh, uh, information about the slaps audio neo 12 and it, it did not which I thought it did so uh, anyways it says like our oblivion we spend countless hours installing different spider packs on a great and lightweight design in order to get them just right and man, these loud, these are loud. Uh, the Neo line will give you the next level DB numbers and demos you have been dreaming of for a fraction of the price of other Neo Unum subwoofers. Uh, RMS is 2000 watts, peak is 4000 watts, sensitivity 86 DB, uh, impedance, you know, depending on what you get, uh, voice coil diameter. 4 inch winding depth uh, 1.94 inches carbon cone high roll foam, foam surround neodymium uh, N42H high temp um, double layer Nomex spider pack dual tints leads um, let's see here if I can get down Oversized six gauge push terminals, so they are six gauge. Uh, overall diameter 12.4 inches. Baffle cutout is 11.2. FS is 43 hertz. Uh, QTS is 0.89. QES is 1.13. QMS is 5.31. I should just write these down on a piece of paper. I think I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm going to write them down on a piece of paper. Alright, so hopefully you guys can read this here. Oops. Uh -oh.
just going to scroll ever so slowly. If you guys want to pause your screen to check something out, go right ahead. This is the, uh, oops. I thought there was a sheet inside the box. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I was going to write it down on a sheet, but I don't think it would be any better than me doing this. And there you go. Alright guys, All right, guys, welcome, welcome back. back. I hope I, I timed that, time right. that right. Um, um, so we got so the, the Tar Amps Big Boss, Boss Base 3. three. Um, um, obviously obviously Slap Audio, Audio Neo. Neo. And, and we're going to dyno test the Tar Amps, Amps Big Boss. Big Boss. This runs this right, run at, right one at 1 ohm, so we're going so to test, test the amp at 1 ohm and, and see what it does. It should, it be, should doing be doing how much? How much? Read that. Read that. 3,000 3, watts. watts. There's 3,000. 33. Sub. Sub. Every hit, 2,000 watts at once. Alright, alright. I'm going to call it out as I see it. Okay. Let's slump pause. Yeah. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Go ahead. Go ahead. 26. 12, 14, 12, 23, 22, 16, 11, 12, 19, 18, 17, 13, 18, 19, 19. All right, I'm going to go dyno mode and see what we get. Is that on pause? Is that on pause? Yeah. Oh, she's hot. Oh, she's hot. The heck? Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells too. That's weird. That's weird. Okay. Okay. Turn it down. Turn it down a little bit. Let me see where I got. Let me see where I got. I don't remember where I got. That's crazy though. That's crazy though, because last time, time it was going like this on the AC3000. And I didn't even, and smell, I didn't it even smell it this quick. Huh. Okay. Here. Huh. Okay. So back, here. That, so back down that down one. one where okay. we had. Where it. we had it. Yep. No, we had it. No, we had it. This up. You know what? You know what? Curious about. Curious about. Now that's the. Now that's the base frequency. Because it's a base boost, boost and a base frequency. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. And that's through and that, that through big that ass dust big cap. Ass dust cap. I, know. I know. All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Definitely lost power. We definitely power lost power there. Fifteen hundred, I got. Fifteen hundred, I got. Okay, what? A break. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna give it a break, real, it quick, a break guys. real quick, guys. Um. Yeah. See, I can smell it again. Yeah. All right, we're gonna give it a break. I'm gonna turn the amp up a little bit, turn the bass down a little bit. I'm gonna go put in dinner for my kids, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Welcome back. So uh, I let the sub cool down. Uh, she's cool now to the touch. It was actually a little warm. Now I don't know if that's like breaking in the glues and getting it ready for its big stunts. I mean, you could eyes because obviously see it. It was flexing like nuts. The house was shaking. Stuff was falling off my walls. Um, you could obviously see the power was there because we were hitting two thousand almost every shot. I don't know if subs are meant to take that like that 
or I don't know. I mean, also I mean, we have we have base boost on. Personally, I don't like base boost. If we were testing this for me, I wouldn't even have that on right now. I'd just be going gain a little bit higher because we just tested, uh, or he just checked the HD three thousand and base boost on it is set at fifty hertz. So we and this so one this has a, variable has a knob to to do that. We also set that about fifty hertz. So we're gonna try and go again. What I'm thinking is that the sub was getting too much bass boost at all the low frequencies, yeah. causing it to really get hot. So, mm -hmm. and you don't want to give your sub fake bass. No. So we're gonna just press play and uh, give another shot. Fifteen hundred there. Okay. So let me turn. Turn the bass boost down. And do it. So go up one more on that now. Right, why don't you pause it? Let's see if it's getting warm now. <laughs> yeah, I can already smell it. Can you? Yeah. I can smell it. What is this? It is getting what a little What was warm. it on there? Uh, why don't we go on dyno. Here, hit it for a minute. Okay. Mm. 17. 17.42. I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, let me... I'm going to turn off. The, the base boost, boost. yeah. No like, base boost. See, this now. is not what I would do. I wouldn't have any base boost at all. You turn it all the way down. It's off. Nothing. Yeah, all Nothing. the way down. So watch it. Try it now. Now it should. Now it's gonna sound less quiet. Getting a thousand watts right now. <laughs> that bass boost does that much, but it's fake bass. You want to use more. You want to tune the gain. Wow. You want to use the gain correctly and not use any bass. And I gotta say, on these amps, a little bit of turning on the knob is a lot of power. That I think I honestly am wondering if this should be on really be running on like two subs or a sub Probably. that's like 3000 RMS, yeah. not a single sub. A single, I think 12, we should yeah. try the Armadas or the S25s. We're gonna, we're gonna do that, anyways. Yeah, I don't really know what to anyways. say right now. I mean, this sub was taking crazy crap from the HD 3000 and not even getting, yeah, hot. it did really good with the HD 3000, and we have this tuned. I mean, I, obviously every amp's different. I'll even We're include that get, in this video. We're going to get doo-dooed on for saying we need to tune the amps. I understand, but we've done similar tuning to the HG3000. Obviously, it's all different, but in a similar way, they should be at least performing the same ratings. And we're actually tuning while we're recording. So, I mean... We didn't do all this ahead of time. We're tuning while we're recording. Obviously, also, the HG3000 is a full-range amplifier. This is a bass amplifier, so it could be just putting out a ton more it's obviously putting out a different source of, of 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 noise yeah so i mean the amp's not really hot right 
It's a little warm. Yeah, nothing crazy. So uh, we're gonna be back with a set of two subs. So really, it's kind of splitting the power, but we should we should see that that big number and have the subs be able to take it and not have smell and and burning up something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back. Yeah, the big boss giving too much or something. <laughs> 